Hey, welcome to a new video. Most people love animals, but some just use them as resources or for their own evil gains. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the most evil crossbreeding experiments involving animals. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Nineteen human cow hybrid. The creation of human cow hybrid embryos by scientists in the UK has ignited a storm of controversy and debate surrounding its ethical implications. The fusion of human DNA with that of a cow is considered ethically questionable due to concerns about the moral boundaries of scientific research. One of the primary motivations behind this endeavor is the scarcity of human eggs for embryonic stem cell research, which impedes advancement in this field of research. In response, scientists have turned to animal eggs, specifically those from cows, as a more available resource. The hybrid embryos, which are solely intended for research purposes, are not permitted to develop beyond 14 days, a stage when they are still minuscule in size. This strict limitation is in place to prevent any ethical concerns regarding the potential development of a human-cow hybrid organism, but that makes it too late because there already are some. Critics have raised objections to the release of these research results through the media instead of the traditional peer-reviewed journal, which has raised questions about the transparency and thoroughness of the research process. It is worth noting that countries, such as China, went into this kind of research where scientists successfully created human-animal embryos by fusing human cells with animal eggs. Some countries, including Australia, Canada, France, Germany, and Italy, have banned human-animal embryos, highlighting the boundaries of scientific experimentation. 18. Kunga Donkey Hybrid The ancient Kungas of Syro Mesopotamia, dating back 4,500 years, were often referred to as donkey like creatures and held a coveted status in ancient societies, becoming symbols of prestige and military prowess. But what makes this cross breeding experiment appear as an evil undertaking is its intricate process and the motives behind it. Genetic analysis, using ancient skeletal remains and DNA from the last surviving Syrian wild ass, has unveiled the true nature of the Kunga. It was the outcome of crossbreeding a female donkey with a male Syrian wild ass, making it the earliest human-made hybrid recorded in the archaeological annals. This calculated hybridization aimed to create animals that were faster, sturdier than donkeys, and more manageable than wild asses, which could not be domesticated. Archaeologists first unearthed Kunga remains in Umelmara, Syria, in a royal burial site where dozens of skeletons that defied classification were discovered. Their teeth bore marks of purposeful feeding and they wore harnesses in their mouths. These hybrid creatures were employed by the elite for travel and warfare. Ancient texts revealed that Kungas were considered status symbols and were also even exchanged as royal gifts. The prices for acquiring these hybrids were six times that of a regular donkey. Interestingly, like many animal hybrids, Kungus were sterile and had to be intentionally bred. This showcased the planning employed by societies to combine desired characteristics. However, there is a darker side to this endeavor. The deliberate breeding and commodification of these animals for power and prestige can be seen as an abuse of nature. Manipulating nature for one's own benefit without consideration for the repercussions or the welfare of the creatures involved reflects the sinister aspect of mankind's thirst for dominance and superiority. 17. Woolly Mammoth Research to resurrect woolly mammoths appeared. The project aims to revive the animal that roamed the earth over 10,000 years ago by using the groundbreaking CRISPR gene editing technology. However, it is the intent and consequences of this endeavor that raise ethical concerns. Rather than recreating true woolly mammoths, the plan is to endow their Asian elephant cousins with genetic traits adapted to cold environments. This genetic manipulation would equip these elephants with features such as small ears and increased body fat, allowing them to survive in the tundra where mammoths once thrived. Their goal is not merely to bring back this ancient species, 
but to create hybrid beings, bridging the gap between extinct and living creatures. The evil of this endeavor lies in its potential impact on the ecosystem and biodiversity. Some biologists argue that focusing on the resurrection of extinct species may divert attention and funding away from the urgent task of preserving the Earth's current biodiversity. Moreover, the unintended consequences of introducing genetically modified animals into ecosystems are unpredictable. The hybridized elephants could disrupt the balance of the environment, affecting not only other wildlife, but also climate dynamics. 16. Pyrenean Ibex The resurrection of the Pyrenean Ibex through cloning is also one of the new projects. The Pyrenean Ibex, or Bucardo, was declared officially extinct in the year 2000. However, the idea of breathing life back into this extinct species came through the preservation of skin samples taken shortly before the last known Bucardo died in the northern parts of Spain. In a feat of genetic engineering, scientists harnessed the preserved DNA from these skin samples. They transplanted this genetic material into eggs from domestic goats, birthing a female Pyrenean ibex. The newborn ibex succumbed to physical defects in its lungs shortly after birth, a true mark of what these bad experiments can do when taken to such an extent. A scientist from the Center of Food Technology and Research of Aragon in northern Spain, who spearheaded this pioneering effort, articulated the significance of this breakthrough as cloning emerges as the sole recourse to avert complete annihilation. But even though Bucardo sadly vanished from the face of the earth, some say that nobody should tamper with life. 15. Belgian Blue, the Monster Cow The Belgian Blue is a human-made breed of beef cattle originating from Belgium. While it may seem like just another livestock breed, its sinister reputation lies in its breeding and genetic manipulation, often referred to as the Monster Cow. At the heart of this breed's traits is a natural mutation in the myostatin gene, responsible for regulating muscle development. Myostatin is the protein encoded by this gene and typically inhibits excessive muscle growth. However, in Belgian blue cattle, this mutation disrupts the normal functioning of myostatin, resulting in unbridled muscular growth, a condition known as double muscling. This hypermuscular appearance is not the product of larger muscle fibers, but rather an increased number of muscle fibers through hyperplasia, while this genetic anomaly might sound fascinating, double musculated cows face significant health issues. Their narrow birth canals lead to severe difficulties during calving, often requiring C-sections. The calves themselves are born larger and heavier than usual, and cows can only endure a limited number of such difficult births, typically five or six. Belgian blue came to fruition from an economic standpoint because breeding and raising this cattle makes more meat but they also need special food and constant health care. The hypermuscular physique has, in essence, turned these creatures into monster cows. 14. Great Razor Auk In Newcastle, England in 2015, a conclave of 22 scientists convened to deliberate on the resurrection of the extinct Great Auk. The Great Auk was once described as the Penguin of the North. This was a flightless marvel that once roamed the North Atlantic Ocean. Resembling a medium-sized penguin, it was known for its appearance and lived primarily at sea, coming ashore only for breeding on a handful of islands. This very flightlessness that made it unique also rendered it vulnerable to human exploitation. The annihilation of the Great Auk was set in motion with the arrival of British colonists in the 19th century. These settlers, who also committed atrocities against indigenous populations, turned their guns on the Great Auk its down, a valuable resource, was harvested on an industrial scale. Attempts to regulate the hunting were futile, and the last of these remarkable birds vanished from an island off Iceland in 1844. The 2015 gathering was orchestrated by Matt Ridley, a member of the House of Lords and a former science editor, who dissected the idea of de-extinction into four stages, sequencing the full genome of the extinct creature A into digital data, editing the crucial genies into the living, reproductive cells of its closest living relative, creating living proxies of the extinct animal, and eventually reintroducing these proxies into the wild. 
The nearest relative of the great auk is the razorbill, a bird that shares similarities in appearance and habitat, but can fly and is significantly smaller. This could ruin the breed and it raises questions about the implications of playing with the boundaries of life and death. 13. Lion Hybrids In northern India, in the confines of Chhatbir Zoo in Chandigarh, a crossbreeding experiment shook the world. In the 1980s, officials at Chhatbir Zoo embarked on a journey to boost their zoo's attractions. They wanted to create a hybrid species by mating captive Asiatic lions with a pair of African circus animals. The result was a dismal failure, a grotesque fusion of two worlds that should never have met. The hind legs of the hybrid offspring were weak, which made it hard for them to walk, let alone run. The inevitable signs of doom manifested themselves in the 1990s when these creatures, which could live up to two decades in captivity, displayed weakened immune systems due to inbreeding and a weakened gene pool. However, the experiment continued without interference until the year 2000. By that time, the zoo harbored between 70 to 80 of these unfortunate hybrid lions. Slowly but inevitably, their numbers dwindled. The zoo authorities decided to put an end to this nightmare, but it was too late to undo the damage. They opted for vasectomies for the male lions and the authorities await the day when they can begin breeding pure Asiatic lions once again. Many believe that this zoo should be closed instead. 12. Holfen, a fertile hybrid. The melon-headed whale, a creature often mislabeled as a whale when it is, in fact, a dolphin is known for its sleek appearance and behaviors. It is a species that has long captured the eyes of those who encounter it. On the other side is the rough-toothed dolphin, a clan of marine mammals. In August 2017, off the island of Kauai, these two creatures came together and made a baby. People started calling it the Holfen. A study published recently revealed that the hybrid observed in 2017 was the first documented case involving both species. It marked only the third time in history that a wild-born hybrid between species in the Delphinidae family had been confirmed. While some have rushed to christen this hybrid as a new species, the scientific consensus remains cautious. There are instances where hybridization has indeed led to new species, but in this case, no evidence suggests such a trajectory. But for some reason, scientists want to tamper with nature and make holfins in captivity, which could have severe circumstances. This male hybrid was discovered by researchers during Navy-funded sonar research, but hybrids typically emerge when one of the parental species faces a population decline. 11. Toiger. The Toiger cat breed emerges as a consequence of our actions. The Toiger can be traced back to the 1980s when the pioneer behind the Bengal cat breed embarked on a weird experiment. It all began with a union between a striped domestic short hair named Scrap Metal and a Bengal known as Millwood Rumpled Spot Skin. The outcome of this union was the creation of the Toiger cat. Toigers have a striking resemblance to their wild counterparts. While their physical resemblance to tigers is undeniable, Toigers are more than just visual pets. They are a breed with a purpose, engineered not merely as exotic pets, but as an ambassador for the conservation of endangered wild tigers, which is counterintuitive. Toigers are relatively healthy, but have shown a potential vulnerability to heart murmurs and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. However, there's a concerning side to this. Breeding animals to look a certain way can lead to health issues and takes away from their natural evolution. It's a questionable practice, driven by human desire rather than the well-being of the animals. 10. Killer Bees – Africanized Bees In the 1950s, researchers sought to create a better subtropical bee by crossing South African honeybees with their European counterparts. Little did they know that this fusion would birth a menace. Invasive and hostile, these African hybrid honeybees emerged as the result of this genetic experiment gone awry. The escape of these hybrids into the wild set the stage for an insect invasion that would spread through South and Central America. By 1990, they had ventured as far north as the southern U.S. What made these killer bees so infamous was their aggression. 
killer bees have earned their reputation for being highly aggressive and defensive. They are known to chase intruders relentlessly and can attack in large swarms. But it was not the South African genes, as some assumed, that fueled this anger. Instead, the root of their hostility lay in the genetics of their European ancestors. The most aggressive colonies were found to have genetic ties to Western Europe rather than South Africa. When the genomes of these colonies were compared to their less aggressive counterparts, mutations linked to their aggressive behavior were uncovered. 9. Spider Silk Goats Spider silk goats seem just like regular goats and have no visual differences. The idea was to harness the properties of spider silk for various applications, including artificial ligaments, eye sutures, jaw repairs, bulletproof vests, and car airbags. Yet the path to this breakthrough was filled with unethical traits. Spider farms, the traditional source of spider silk, proved problematic. Spiders resorted to cannibalism when forced into close proximity, rendering mass production impossible. Researchers resorted to the manipulation of goats' genetics. They introduced the silk-spinning genes from spiders into goats, enabling these creatures to produce the silk protein in their milk. Spider silk is one of the strongest materials pound for pound, and the goats were mere conduits for this unnatural fusion and were genetically altered to serve human purposes. Their milk had been turned into a repository for spider silk, and now they can't feed their offspring. Wait. Superball Python. The Superball is a hybrid between the Ball Python and either the Blood Python or Marble Borneo Shorttail Python. While some might view it as a stunning marvel, digging deeper into this crossbreeding experiment reveals the evil that shrouds it. Its striking green, black, and tan patterning is an amalgamation of genetic traits from both parent species. This experiment was initiated by herpetologists at Rusis Reptiles, a New York-based organization. The first official Superball Python offspring were hatched in 2005. However, the creation of the Superball Python took three long years for Rusis Reptiles to produce a clutch of these hybrid snakes, ruining many reptiles in the process. One of the most concerning aspects of this experiment is the potential for genetic degradation. Hybrid species like the Superball, when released into the wild, can disrupt natural ecosystems and threaten indigenous species like we saw with the killer bees. 7. Human Z. Oliver The name Ilya Ivanov stands as a reminder of the dark depths human curiosity can descend into. Born in 1870, Ilya was a Russian biologist who had achieved remarkable success in the realm of artificial insemination. His reputation was such that he could inseminate 500 mares with the semen of a single stallion. However, as with many pioneers, Ilya's insatiable curiosity led him down a dark and ethically treacherous path. Dissatisfied with mere feats of animal insemination, he embarked on a journey that would haunt the realm of science forever. Ilya's venture into the abyss of cross-species breeding began gradually, starting with creations like the Zadonk, a rat mouse hybrid, a guinea pig mouse hybrid, and even an abominable fusion of an antelope and a cow. Yet in 1910, Ilya openly speculated about the possibility of creating a human ape hybrid, a creature that would come to be known as a human Z. While this idea remained just a thought, it wasn't an isolated fantasy. Others would follow Ilya's path with equally futile results. 06. Grizzly Polar Bear Hybrid. As the world warms and Arctic sea ice melts, the starving polar bears are driven southward where the territories of grizzlies await them. This climatic shift has triggered the natural creation of hybrid pizzly bears. These hybrid bears are the offspring of polar bears and grizzlies. Climate-induced habitat changes have forced these two species into closer contact, leading to increased mating and, in turn, sightings of their hybrid babies. While such interspecies breeding is not uncommon in the animal kingdom, the emergence of pizzlies is alarming for several reasons. Scientists speculate that these hybrids may possess a competitive edge in the changing Arctic landscape. Some even suggest that the pizzlies could adapt to forage a wider range of food sources due to their intermediate skull structure, which combines characteristics of both parent species. This could give them an advantage over their specialized polar bear counterparts, which primarily feed on seals. Unlike generalist animals such as coyotes and cougars, 
which adapt to environmental changes, highly specialized predators like polar bears face an existential threat as their specific diets remain largely unchanged. The rise of the pizzly bears hints at the potential takeover of polar bear habitats. 5. Goat-Sheep Hybrid In County Kildare, Ireland, in November 2013, a sheep found itself in a union with a goat, and it gave birth to an enigmatic creature, the sheep-goat hybrid, known as the Geep. Farmer Paddy Murphy shared his discovery with the Irish Farmer's Journal. The Jeep was agile, inspirited, and displayed traits reminiscent of both its sheep and goat ancestry. While Paddy's Geep may be the only known living example in Ireland, tales of sheep-goat hybrids, known as Chaban in French and Cabruno in Spanish, have echoed through history. Some people have bred them for centuries because they wanted to adapt sheep to more mountainous regions because of their higher product yield. 4. Monkey-Pig Hybrid In Beijing, China, a scientific endeavor that blurred the lines of ethics and raised profound questions about the boundaries of life occurred. Researchers aimed to merge the genetic material of monkeys and pigs. The result was the world's first monkey-pig hybrids, born as chimeric piglets. These chimeric piglets, though born seemingly normal, contained a perplexing blend of DNA from both pigs and cinnamalgus monkeys. Their organs, including the heart, liver, spleen, lung, and skin, bore the genetic marks of these two species, forging an unsettling union between the worlds of primates and swine. The objective was to unlock the possibility of growing human organs within animals for transplantation, and that required more than 4,000 embryos to achieve, and the piglets only lived for about a week. Despite the concerns, China has shown no signs of halting such experiments. In fact, they proposed creating monkeys with partially human-derived brains to enhance the study of diseases like Alzheimer's. 3. Cuban Crocodile Hybrid The rare Cuban crocodile teeters on the brink of extinction. This situation is not due to habitat loss or environmental degradation, but is instead a consequence of crossbreeding between the Cuban crocodile and its American counterpart. The Cuban crocodile is a 10-foot-long, 3-meter-long marvel, but has dwindled to a mere 4,000 wild individuals in two isolated Cuban swamps. Its diminishing numbers have pushed it to the brink of extinction, warranting a critically endangered status by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The threat to the Cuban crocodile comes from its more robust American species found throughout the Caribbean. As agricultural activities increase the saltiness of Cuba's freshwater habitat, American crocodiles have ventured into these territories, setting the stage for a dangerous encounter. American crocodiles living in Cuba are genetically more akin to Cuban crocodiles than to their Central American American crocodile counterparts. This genetic overlap suggests that the two species are interbreeding far more frequently than previously believed. 2. Zonkey Kumba's parents are Ignacio, a donkey, and Rias, a zebra. Their rendezvous led to an offspring that defied the odds. Zonkeys like Kumba are genetic rarities because donkeys have 62 chromosomes, while zebras have a chromosome count ranging from 32 to 46. The discord in their genetic makeup often hinders successful embryonic development, making the birth of a zonke a rare event. This usually occurs in nature, but this zoo allowed it. Even Charles Darwin acknowledged their existence, and Lord Morton ventured into hybrid horse breeding as early as 1815. Early scientists were driven by a desire to create pack animals that were resistant to diseases such as sleeping sickness, which plagued purebred horses. But in this endeavor, they have erased the lines between the two species. Also, if the insemination goes awry, the mother is highly unlikely to ever have children again. And even if successful, they are extremely vulnerable at birth. 1. Dodo Bird the dodo bird is one of the most famous animals that ever existed. Colossal Biosciences, a biotechnology company from Austin, Texas wants to resurrect the dodo bird, a species extinct since around 1662. This marks the company's third venture into the realm of de-extinction, following projects to revive woolly mammoths and Tasmanian tigers. Reviving the dodo 
involves weaving advanced biotechnology, the sequencing of ancient DNA, cloning, and the creation of artificial wombs. As part of this, the company has acquired detailed DNA information from a 500-year-old dodo that remains stored in a Danish museum. The grand plan to resurrect the dodo revolves around its closest living relative, the Nicobar pigeon. The concept is to transform the pigeon, step by step, into a dodo and potentially rewild the animal in its native habitat. However, the road to creating a dodo is filled with uncertainty. The extent of genetic modifications required to transform a Nicobar pigeon into a dodo remains an enigma, as it will require hundreds of gene changes and potentially mutilate many pigeons. Also, even if a functional proxy for the dodo is successfully created, the question arises of where to reintroduce it. Mauritius, once the dodo's habitat, is now dominated by sugarcane farming and plagued by non-native predators. Which of these experiments is the scariest to you? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.